Hi, in this problem we're going to find the antiderivative. We have the antiderivative of theta squared plus secant squared theta. So solution. So to integrate theta squared, basically we can use the power rule. So we're going to look at the exponent here and we're going to add one and then divide by the result. So two plus one is three. And then we just divide by the three. And for the secant squared, we're trying to integrate it. So we ask ourselves, what is a function whose derivative is secant squared? Well, the derivative of tangent is secant squared. Therefore, the integral of secant squared is going to be the tangent function. And we're almost done. We just need the plus c, which is our constant of integration. We should check our work. We can do that by simply differentiating. So to differentiate this, the three hangs out on the bottom since it's a constant. You bring down this three, the three theta, and then you subtract one from the exponents. So that's gonna give you two, and it's all over three. These cancel, so we get theta squared, which is good. And then the derivative of tangent is secant squared. And the derivative of c is zero because it's a constant. So this is theta squared, plus secant squared theta. And that's exactly what we have in the integrand, so everything looks pretty good. Good luck.